their best team. Borussia Mönchengladbach, on the other hand, have to do without four of their regular players, their captain and international fullback Bertie Folks. Striker Jupp Hank is also an international. Midfield player Diek Madana, another international. And Jürgen Wittkamp, the sweeper, who's been suspended for a month. The other three all injured. This is the last game to the first half of the season here in Germany. The season is divided into two halves. There's a break now after this match of about uh, four weeks. The season getting underway again in the middle of January. Bayern on the attack. Schaeffer sliding that ball back. The pitch very wet here. It's been raining quite a lot all the week. It'll probably cut up. Get heavy as well in the second half. Schaeffer and Stielicke back in the side. He was also injured. Uli Stielicke, another West German international. So many internationals on the field today. Not only West German, two Swedish internationals, a Danish international. Wimmer. There's the Danish international, Alan Siemensen. Beautiful little ball player. Schaeffer. As I said, Borussia Mönchengladbach head the table. They have 25 points from their 16 games. Then come Brunswick with uh, 23 points and Bayern Munich 22 points. So they're only three points behind Mönchengladbach. And if uh, Bayern win today, of course, that'll put them very close. Oh, what a pass from Beckenbauer to Schwarzenbeck. And a good tackle. And there's Siemensen. Alan Siemensen. Fouled by Rummenigge, says the referee, Mr. Road, coming in there very quickly. That's Kuppel and Wimmer. These two teams have really dominated West German football just about for the past decade. In fact, uh, during the past eight seasons, the West German Championship has always been won either by Mönchengladbach or by Bayern Munich. Borussia four times and Bayern four times. Good tackle there by Klinkhammer. Karl-Heinz Rummenigger, another West German international. Kulik, Christian Kulik. Switching play. There's Rainer Bonhoff, the captain in place of Betty Folks. He's got a tremendous shot, but he can't get one in. Oli Hurnus with him. Wimmer. Oh, he's given Dunberger trouble there. Franz Beckenbauer getting that ball first. Having to come sliding in on it. Corner for Mönchengladbach. Sepp Meyer. Brilliant goalkeeper, of course. 75 internationals he's played in for West Germany. Up got the heads there. Kapow! Siemensen! Oh, Kuppel should have shot first time. What a chance that was for Horst Kuppel. Stielicke. Schäfer. Up got the heads again. There's Hannes, who's very good in the air. He's a very tall player. Hannes being marked by Schwarzenbeck. Franz Beckenbauer. Bayern playing possession football, something they always do when they're away from home. They concentrate mainly on defense. And for a change of bad pass from Beckenbauer, you don't see many of those. Siemensen. Alan Siemensen switching it inside now. Kulik, no, it's Volas. Volas the sweeper, number four. Oh, a bad one from Horst Volas. As I was saying, Bayern like to play this concertina, this counter-attacking football when playing away from home. Concentrate on defense, keeping possession and looking for the quick break. 
And it's something they do very well. They have the players to do it, like Oli Hernes now. Beats ball off well. And there's Stielica. And right a ball off. There's ball off. He's unmarked, of course, because uh, Hernes is way back in the Mönchengladbach area. Stielica. And Siemensen. It's Alan Siemensen. Oh, ho! Oh, and Sepp Meyer. What a good effort by Siemensen. Watch now how he beats Horseman. There's Udo Horseman number three in front of him. Down goes Horseman, but Siemensen doesn't. And there's the shot. And Sepp Meyer has to go down to that one. Can't hold it first time. Grabs it at the second attempt. One handed. And Munchen got back again with Alan Siemensen. Beats Beckenbauer. Oh, just past the post. Oh, what a game Siemensen's having. Corner. Sepp doesn't like the idea, but the referee was there. He saw the ball was deflected. If it hadn't been, I think it could have been in the back of the net. All the pressure now coming from the home team, from Borussia Mönchengladbach. Sepmeyer really having his work cut out in the Bayern Munich goal. Anderson and Wallers. Anderson, international fullback for Sweden and Kneip. Kneipp didn't have a very good game in Munchen Gladbach's last match in Karlsruhe when they went down by four goals to nil. Made one or two very disastrous mistakes. Oh, what a pass to Kulik. Foul by Kapelman on Kulik. Christian Kulik. Gonna take the free kick himself. Siemensen, oh, and Sepp Meyer. Siemensen, the shortest player on the pitch. Still getting up to that one, though. And the fans now shouting, Siemensen, Siemensen. Franz Beckenbauer. Bernd Dürenberger pushing that ball through. Get Muller. Get Muller being shadowed very closely indeed. By Schaeffer. Stielica. I like the way Munchen Gladbacker.